now time to rev up my scooter yes. because we're <laughs> modding it up in Bath tonight, taking you back to the 60s as the iconic Quadrophenia hits the stage. The Who's rock opera album of 1973 spawned a movie that defined a generation and now a new stage version has set off on a major UK tour and cast and crew are being given quite a West Country welcome. Let's have a look. Yes, Amanda Parr is at the Theatre Royal now. Amanda. Yeah, talk about the games. This is what's officially known as a ride out. The owners of these amazing machines found out that Quadrophenia was coming to a stage near them and they decided to come along and pay tribute with the scooters, which are so much a part of the whole Quadrophenia vibe. Let's uh, take a look at what it's all about. Basically, it started as uh, an album by The Who turned into a movie that everybody knows, which is now celebrating its 30th year. And now it's reached a whole new incarnation. Watch this. Romantic, lunatic, tough guy, hypocrite. Quadrophenia is about coming of age and finding an identity. It's the story of Jimmy, misunderstood hedonist in a dead-end job. He's after a girl and somewhere to belong. Fans fought to get hold of the original album by The Who. There was an oil embargo and vinyl shortage at the time. Since 73, though, the music has moved through various incarnations and remixes. Rolling Stone magazine, which generally knows what it's on about, called Quadrophenia one of the hundred greatest albums of all time. Every reason, then, to keep the music and the message alive like this. I went back to the doctor. It reminds me of kind of um, early Stephen Burkhoff work, you know, the, 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 the big gang, but with music. It's wonderful. I love it. I, th I, think, I think anybody that likes the Who's music and anybody that likes modern guitar music like Franz Ferdinand or, or Radiohead, any of those bands, you know, will love this show. It is just completely rock and roll and a lot of the time we find ourselves getting completely lost in it and we come off stage like, oh, where did that go? Especially and when the audience uh, yeah, are we've had roaring at you and you're just like, well, awesome if they're audiences. roaring, we have to give it every single yeah. thing we've got. From 60s London to 60s Brighton, Jimmy's journey throbs with cool sounds and hot metal, an homage to an era that'll resonate as much with the audience as around the auditorium they're sitting in. Amazing. Well, the show starts at half past seven tonight, runs through to a matinee performance on Sunday, so plenty of time to get down here and take a look. Let's talk to a couple of the enthusiasts. Nita, first of all, Hi. this is a way of life for you, this, isn't it? Certainly is. I actually, in this city, 1971, went to see on my first Lambretta SX150 to Bath Pavilion to see The Who when Keith Moon was drumming, and I'm back for more. What keeps you coming back for more? Um, it's a way of life, obviously, as everybody says that, but it's um, the whole thing with the Lambretta to me and the Who's always been linked to it and Quadrophenia. Wonderful. Let's talk to Phil. You're from Radstock, aren't you? Can we, is it safe to say you're a fan of the film? Yeah, yeah, we all grew up with it and we started scootering with, with mods back in, um, in the early 80s or 70s when Quadrophenia came out. You're going to uh, see the show? Yeah, yeah. And um, we brought a load of scooters from Radstock Devil Scooter Club tonight and then um, like we know all the words for the song so we're probably singing as well as everyone else they want you to sing along i've had this from the horse's mouth <laughs> well well done to everybody for coming i tell you what when they arrived this evening the din was incredible all of those machines humming together in fact do you want to hear it should we get them to go rev up Woo! Amanda, you're going to be very, very popular with the neighbours up there. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll be getting a lift back, maybe. Uh, well, somebody who was a fan of that in the day, Richard is here with the weather as well.